car is basically a box with an engine designed to get it up and put it in motion. Well, obviously, over the years, not every box has been made the same. But there is one iconic automotive box that stands out among the rest. And that is the beautiful 2015 seventh generation Volkswagen Golf GTI. They've made it more powerful and yet gets better fuel efficiency. They've made it more comfortable, roomier, wider, longer, lower, and badder than ever. Volkswagen Golf is obviously an extremely popular vehicle worldwide. They have over 30 million sold. And as a matter of fact, they're celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. Now, the Golf comes with the TSI turbo stratified injected 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine. And that gets 170 horsepower, 200 foot-pounds of torque. But the GTI that we're in gets 2.0 liter with 210 horsepower and the big jump this year is 258 foot-pounds of torque. That's 10 more horsepower, 51 more foot-pounds of torque, or pound-feet, depending on who you ask. To me, that means, you know, the GTI stands for get your torque in gear. And you can. You can go from zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds thereabouts in the manual and 5.8 with the automatic. And for a lighter car like this, that's, that's pretty fun. And that, that's a lot of fun. You can get a six-speed manual transmission, which is fun, big fun. But you can also get the six-speed dual-clutch DSG transmission as well. With, of course, the paddle shifters and the proverbial sport shift. And that, again, I feel gives people the best of both worlds. What's nice is you can control the suspension system with a push of a button. You have the normal setting, you have the sport mode, and of course an individual mode that you can set up yourself. You can adjust with the sport, the throttle response, the uh, uh, tightening of the steering wheel as well, which is great. Or you can do that individually. So you could have a comfortable ride with a tighter steering combination, which is great. Now, being a front-wheel drive vehicle, obviously, you have a certain amount of traction and handling, and of course, you have traction control here. But VW also gives you their cross-differential control, which is a system that uh, basically, on a hard turn, will break the inside wheel, allowing the outside wheel to spin uh, a little quicker, giving you a little bit better responsiveness. But you can also get, with the performance package, larger brakes and a true limited slip differential, which is amazing, except I don't know that for sure because we don't have it out here in the States yet. But as soon as it comes out, I want to get my hands on it. Now, as I understand it, BW is also going to be offering a dynamic chassis control system, which will help adjust the dampening of the uh, suspension system itself to give you an even greater amount of control on the highway. And being a lower, wider, and longer uh, planted vehicle, you can just enjoy the road more, I think. It's, um, even on bumpy roads, you know, you do feel it a bit, but it's not bone jarring by any means. So now we're looking at more power, more horsepower, more torque, and better fuel economy. With 25 miles per gallon around town, 33 on the highway for a combined of 28. And anything that helps improve the fuel efficiency of a vehicle is a step in the right direction. That's why they made it a little more aerodynamic. The uh, drag coefficient is 0.29 this year. Ooh, that's improved. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel it? Now, the big buzz this year is that the GTI is going to be manufactured in Mexico. But when I looked on the window sticker, it still said that the engine and the transmission were built in Germany. So where they put it together, I don't think is as critical an issue because you know VW is going to have their quality control to the max. So right now I think it's going to save us some money and make the volume of vehicles available greater than go for it, VW, go for it. Arriba! Arriba! Well, 
like I said, the 2015 GTI is one box alicious ride. And it really begins right up front with this honeycomb grill and with the adaptive by Xenon headlamps with the LED daytime running lamps and the LED fog lamps, it gives just a, a menacing appearance right up front. Now in the back, you'll notice the bright chrome GTI call out, just like on the side of the vehicle. And you have your dual uh, exhaust with the chrome tip with a nice black diffuser in the back. And of course the VW logo, well, that acts not only as a hatch release, but also covers up your backup camera as well. Now in the interior, you have 22.8 cubic feet of cargo space with the back seat up and 57.2 with the back seat down. You even have a little pass through as well. Now check this out, not enough cargo space, pull it out, slide it back, drop it down. Now if that's not enough and you're lucky enough to have the Fender 400 watt sound system, this is your subwoofer. Dude, check it out. Boom, bam, Fender face. Once you've settled into your sports seat, you can certainly appreciate the refinements that uh, VW has done in this vehicle with the, well, obviously the leather feel of the steering wheel and the seats themselves, the soft touch areas that are really surrounding you, and the beautiful brushed aluminum accents and of course your GTI call out dead center on your three spoke steering wheel with the flat bottom. Um, it's a nice enhancement. You have your 5.8 inch screen and you of course have your hands free capability, Bluetooth, you have your adapters that you can plug in for your sound systems, your iPods, your MP3 players, you have plenty of adjustments for your stereo system at fingertip control. Plus, you can get the upgraded Fender 8-speaker, 400-watt monster system. The gauging itself is, is simplified. That's what it is. It's simplified. It's got a tachometer. You've got your coolant temperature. You've got your speedometer up to 180 miles an hour. And then, of course, you have your uh, multimedia screen in the center that is controllable, fingertip control. You also have the, uh, your, of course, DSG transmission here and your controls for the modes for your uh, chassis system as well as your steering and your throttle response. Plus you have your traction control button and nice storage area here, little 12 volt battery action throughout, plus um, amazing air conditioning. It's also in the glove box. There's a special knob that you can twist that will actually allow you to keep your whatever sodas in there, your your electronics in there, whatever it is, cool. Plenty of area holding, you know, got my bottle holder here. So that works well. And again, armrests, grip, even your manual manly handbrake feels wonderful. So you have uh, the nice uh, chrome accent on your pedals, plus the um, back seat folks, they get more leg room and hip room. What's great is you also have your available touch start and touch stop. And now a touch will open as well as close your moonroof rather than the traditional knob that used to have. It's obvious that VW has really spent a lot of time upgrading their interior with the uh, subdued classiness to it. And the creature comforts are here for those of you that uh, want to enjoy. So if you're looking for a car that has plenty of sportiness, plenty of roominess, and plenty of German engineering and technology to keep you safe and comfortable, then the GTI is one heck of a great choice. Drive it. You'll see what I mean.